so welcome to my first official video. Um, I decided that it would be my unboxing of my plant because that was coming and I was like, I don't know what else to post for my first video right now. So this is what it's going to be. Um, so I subscribed to the Cellar Door um, Plants Pet Friendly, like pet subscription box. And each month for $18, they send you a um, pet friendly plant. Now this isn't obviously promoted or sponsored or anything like that. I just order from them quite frequently and I really love them. So I figured I would just do this video. So yes, this is what it comes in. I don't want to show my address or anything, but it's just a box like this and it's got the little tape. I did already cut it open and just kind of like pop it open like this. I didn't look inside yet, but I wanted to get it out of my mailbox and open it up just so that whatever plant is in here had like normal room temperature air and wasn't sitting in a mailbox. Um, because apparently my mailman is too lazy to get out of the mail truck and walk up to the porch. So he likes to shove my plant boxes in them upside down diagonally instead of like fitting them in rectangularly or bringing them up to the porch. Um, so there are a couple of times where I've had plants ruined and damaged. Even though the postmaster has talked to him about this, he still tends to do it. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, so I just cut it open. So I just used my cute little cloud exacto blade that comes in bloom pink as well because this is so cute and yeah, I hopped on that trend. So, um, yeah, but I, I undid it and I just let it sit like this. So I'm going to open it up. As you can see, this is how the plant is wrapped. So it looks like, let me just take this out here. Um, okay, so it's the packing slip and oh, okay, let's see. This is parlor palm. This must be a new thing because... They never used to have this little card in there, but that's interesting. Okay, so they added in a little card. This might be a new thing they're doing, but um, it says parlor palm, so that's the plant that I got, and on the back it says water, light, soil, temperature, and humidity, and then they have a little scan me, which will take you to their um, site. On their site, they have an entire section that is like, a guide to the plants that you get which I think is super cool because that allows you to know how to take care of the plant I'm trying to think of the words I couldn't think of the words um, so yeah this must be something new they're doing I actually really like this because I would love to collect this and you know like hang them on a wall or something like that I don't know I think this is really cute this is really cool and the paper is really nice it's really good quality it's not like cheap paper it's that nice thick paper anyways moving on um, I'm going to stick this here for now just so okay it's gonna stay there for now uh, maybe you know if this is a new thing maybe I should get a little stand that like holds the cards in the video so people know but so yeah they just come in a little box like this really well packaged I really love the packaging for these as you can see it's wrapped up it's got a rubber band around the base of the plant like they usually do to hold it in place um, now the damaged plants that I've gotten are 100% um, done because of my mailman because it's very rare that packages in transit come to me damaged. It's usually when my postman decides to shove things in the mailbox. Like the one day he tried to shove a order from thrift books, which I will do a video on them because I love thrift books. Um, also not sponsored by them, but he tried to shove five hardcover books into my mailbox. My mom was like, excuse me, no, don't do that. So these damaged packages many, many times. So I'm actually just going to, okay, they double package this. I'm gonna reach in, pull it out here. Hang on, I gotta rip this open. I was hoping not to rip this open so I could reuse it, but looks like I'm going to have to do that. There we go. So here's my little palm tree. They double wrapped. I love when they double wrap things. Put another rubber band around the base here. Oh, I got an itchy nose here. And then this come like this. So this is a parlor palm. I have a cat palm, which I got at an Amish greenhouse for like $17, which was pretty awesome. So I do have a bigger palm tree, but I love palm trees because they're super pet friendly. And most of the time my pets don't touch any of the plants. Um, the only plants they've really ever touched is the spider plant that I have and the palm trees. And I just got three kittens, so they like to play with all of my plants now. So I've had to rearrange my plants and put all the pet friendly ones on the bottom. But So this is, you get a four inch plant for $18 each month, which honestly I don't think is bad. And I think that 
it's actually pretty pretty good considering that you're getting you are 100 percent sure that you're getting a pet friendly plant especially if you are someone that has a lot of plants and you aren't able to like put all of the toxic plants out of the area or if you have kids i think this is a really cool thing i know some people be like oh my god that's expensive but like honestly you pay about the same price for a plant a little bit bigger than this at like walmart or the box stores but quite honestly i don't mind that's just my personal opinion though i know some people think it's expensive but this is what it looks like it's so cute and it's really nice it is it's they water all of them um i have gotten actually two of my plants back here i've gotten i'll show you in a minute from them which i bought separately they weren't part of the uh subscription box but they're super cute they do come well watered but this is a palm tree so he is going to need to be watered i won't repot him yet i don't see the roots so we're good on this but this is what it looks like if i can get it to focus there we go super cute it's green it's pretty i also don't mind buying from them and spending the 18 because i am assured that the dirt is the dirt that's needed for them i know that they're well taken care of as we're in box stores you often find half dead plants so this is that one i'm super excited about this i actually really love palm trees because you know they fill out small spaces and they're just really nice to have i do really enjoy them um, but let me show you the other two plants i have really quick since this is a video about them i just want to show you the other kinds so this one here is a elephant ear, also known as Alo Alocasia Bambino, I believe this is what it is. Um, so this is the guy, the little guy here. He's really cute. He, this is actually a new leaf, you can tell because it's a lot lighter. Let me untangle these guys here. It's actually a lot lighter here than the darker ones. So I'm really excited this one sprouted up a new leaf. But yeah, overall this is part of the elephant ear family. There are a lot of different elephant ear plants this is just the alocasia so i love this one i actually saw one at walmart that was like i think like 17 dollars. that was a different variation and i almost bought it but i didn't but i might go back and get it i'm not sure yet but this is one of the plants and then the other plant that i got was a monastere swiss cheese plant so this is what this one looks like now this is one of the plants that did come damaged and it did lose a leaf but it is in water and propagating it it does have some roots so i'm excited to plant that but this one tends to uh vine out and vine down so where the leaf actually broke off which was right let me focus this here there we go which is right here where my finger is it actually grew a whole new um stem here and a whole new set of leaves and at the bottom it's starting to grow a little baby down here can't really see it but it's there and it's got new little babies here so i'm really excited oh and it's got a new leaf here as well I'm really excited i love these plants a lot and i really love this one. Oh, and look i just realized you can see a new leaf is right there if it focuses there you go. You can see uh, the start of a new leaf, which is really exciting and really cool. So I'm really, really in love with the company. Um, when I did receive the damaged plants, my one Peppermonia was, it's the Ripple Red. That was pretty damaged. That was the most damaged out of them. And I contacted them and I sent them photos and they did offer some new plants. So I gave them a couple, I think I gave them like four or five plants to um, that I had wanted and that i looked at and so they picked the one that they had in stock and that would work as a replacement which was a hoya which is actually in my bathroom so i don't have that on hand so they sent me a new hoya free of charge and everything they were really good with communication with getting back to me um, and with sending the plant over which i was super stoked about it's a really good plant so i was very very happy with that they are amazing and you get points for different things which you can earn and redeem obviously things like that um, i've mentioned them in my instagram stories before and they've responded to those which is really nice so i yeah i'm not the best at doing this review and knowing what to talk about without repeating myself but <laughs> that is um that is that site i really love buying from them when i discovered them i was really stoked about it and i'm really happy with them as an overall company i will say the one thing that i'm not a fan of now that they recently changed um they sent out an email uh, i think two months ago june yeah yeah where they were saying that june 1st they're going to be raising prices because 
of the cost of like the greenhouses and growing and all this other stuff because of the pandemic. Um, and one of the things they added was a monthly membership, which is different than a subscription box. It's like 25 bucks a month and you get unlimited access to certain things. And I'm really mad because the one plant that I wanted, which was a Peppermonia, um, I think it was the watermelon, they put on a members only list. So if I wanted to get that one, I can't now. And I'm really mad about, I'm like kind of upset about that because um, I understand why they're doing it, but it really sucks, especially for those of us that are like, we want certain plants, but we can't get plants because now it's behind a membership wall, which really does suck. Um, I feel like they could have, instead of doing that, like they could have lowered the prices for members on certain plants instead of um, putting the whole plant behind a membership wall. But I mean, they have to do what they have to do for business and to get money. So I'm hoping that I can just find that plant somewhere else. Um, if not, I don't know, maybe, maybe in the future I'll get a membership. Um, I may cancel the pet friendly subscription just because I would then be paying the membership. So it really wouldn't make sense to have both the subscription box and the membership. I don't know yet. I'm still debating, but I do think that it really does suck that they had to do that. And now you can't buy certain plants, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so with the membership, it's free shipping, early access to sales and new products, and exclusive access to rare plants. And I use the quotes because I actually had uh, this conversation on my TikTok about what considers, like, what makes a plant rare. And honestly, it's just about how popular it is. It's not about whether it is or isn't rare. I mean, like, the black ZZ plant, I love that. It's now been released into box stores before it wasn't. I actually considered paying $50 for one. But when I found it in a box store, I just bought it from the box store. But um, honestly, it is just about how popular it is because I've gone to the Amish greenhouse that's local to me and I've gotten little two inch pots of plants that are like babies for like two seventy five, dollars and are like $14, $15, $20 online. So you can find a lot of these plants that they're charging a lot for at greenhouses, box stores, different places like that for a lot cheaper. But again, you are making that compromise. A lot of times at greenhouses, you can get really good plants. I got a lot of really awesome plants. I actually got a few peppermonias from there. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's, it's the payoff. So it says here that, oh, and there's other things that are part of it too. It's renewed on a quarterly basis. You'll get charged once every three months. Okay, so that's not bad. So you get three months for like, what is it, $25. So that's not bad. I mean, I have subscriptions that cost a little bit more for um, some work things that are three months and they're more expensive than that. So honestly, I'm glad that it's not per month and that it's a three month. That's actually really, really good. You can cancel at any time. All purchases are final. They can't refund the membership fee. Um, and they do, this is what I like about them too. This is really awesome about that about them. For all of your subscriptions, they send you an email a few days before you're charged. And they have done that with me where they'll be like, hey, your subscription is going to be charged on the 10th, just so you know. And if you don't have the money, they will charge you a few days later when you have the money for it. So just be aware of that, that if you don't cancel your membership, it's not one of those things where, oh, I don't have enough money in my account. They're just going to cancel my membership. No, they will take it out a few days later. So if you really know that you're not going to have the money or you're, if, you're, if you're unsure, cancel the membership. Um, you can renew it. It's not hard. I really like the company. They're easy for that. So, um, yeah, so what's included just to go over again, free shipping, member only plants, and there are more ev added every week. So you kind of get that bonus of every week. There's a new plant that only you get to buy early access to product launches, members only giveaways. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And exclusive price drops. Um, which I, I really like. Uh, they are very transparent with their um, company overall. Like I said, when they did a price rate raise and they added the membership and stuff, they did send out an email before the end of before the end of May saying, "Hey, just so you know, June. I think it was June. It was either June or July. No, I think it was June. Uh, June first. We're raising our prices. We're changing a few things." be aware of this. They didn't change the subscription prices, which I like, but I do like that as a company, they are super transparent. 
They send out emails to make sure that you're aware of when you're being charged for things or when they're updating things. I really think that's what's really important too when it comes to companies, especially plant companies, because the plant community is so big. And once you get into it, from what I know, because I'm just starting to get into it, information gets passed around. So if you have a company that's really, really good, you're bound to get not only more people, but the people within the plant community are gonna be really good to you. And so it's one of those nice things of you're good to your people, your people are good to you type of things. So they also have a subscription FAQ. And what's really nice about their FAQ is that um, they tell you everything. Like, you know, how much you're shipping, how long will delivery take, what happens if it's damaged or unhealthy, um, how to repot your plant, where do they ship, um, and all this other stuff. So, oh, and they even have like a how do you ship orders during colder months. So the company is really, really good. I love it. Like I said, I keep saying I love the company because I really do. It's it's the first plant um, online plant company that I've bought from. And honestly, I don't think I will buy from any other online plant stores. I have bought from Etsy shops, which I really love, which I might do a video on. Uh, my one elephant ear haul that I got, it's uh, cal caladiums, caladiniums. One of, one of those names, it's the elephant ears. Um, but I might do a review on that because I loved that shop that I got them from. Um, but yeah, overall, cellar door plants, love them, highly recommend them. Even if you're just doing uh, one or two plants and you don't do the pet sub or the subscriptions in general, but I do highly recommend the pet subscription if you have animals or even kids. You know, you have little kids that like to touch things and whatnot or babies, whatever non-toxic plants really good i'm pretty positive that um well no i don't want to say that i'm pretty positive because i know not all of them mm. i was gonna say i'm pretty positive that everything that's pet friendly is human friendly but don't quote me on that because i'm not positive that would be something to double check um but yeah i mean if you if you are someone that has a lot of animals and you don't have the space to hide uh, toxic plants from your animals. 100% recommend this. All non-toxic, you can have your plants out. If your animals chew on it, they're safe, they're fine, you're good. Um, if you are someone that does have animals and does have toxic plants, obviously put them out of the way. Make sure you know all the signs and symptoms and you look shit up just to be sure. And I would also talk to whichever vet you go to or even a few local vets and be like, hey, if there's ever a emergency where my animal eats a toxic plant, do you have the means necessary to treat it? Because some vets don't. So there is that. Um, I think this is the end of the video. Do I recommend it? Yes. Do I love them? Yes. Is it worth the price? To me, yes. Again, you're making that compromise from big box stores of you know the plant is healthy, you know it's in the right soil. Um, again, they have the guide to all of their plants on their website. They do have really awesome subscriptions and prices are pretty decent. Um, I say decent because that, like I said, you can go to greenhouses and box stores and buy plants cheaper. Um, so yeah, it's really that compromise of the price based on how careful, how good of care your plant receives before it is in your hands. Hopefully that makes sense. Water break. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Hopefully you like this. Hope you like the ramble. Honestly, I just want to come on here and give a reason to open up my plant box because my mom would be like, you already have a palm tree. Not understanding that a cat palm and a parlor palm are two different types of palm trees and that it is still exciting to get a plant in the mail. It's just exciting as someone who loves plants. Um, so yeah, if you love plants and you enjoyed the, the me talking about this, tell me what plants you have, how many plants you have. I have at least 140, if not more. Um, at the time I made a TikTok video counting, I had 130, including propagated plants, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm close to 150 plants and growing, so <laughs> let me know, are you a plant addict? How many plants do you have? What does your house look like? Is it all throughout your house? Is it just in one room? Right now, all of my plants are just in my bathroom. I actually have to take care of a bunch of spider mites because those things are annoying as shit. I have to do a cleaning up uh, of them to get rid of them. But overall, I'm very, very happy with this. 
and I hope if you try it out, let me know. If you do have a subscription, let me know. If you have bought from them, let me know. I want to hear your stories. Um, and I'm going to go now because otherwise I'm going to ramble because I'm really, really bad at outros. So I will see you in the next video. Follow all my social media links. Do that crap that YouTubers tell you to do of following and, and liking and subscribing because I hate saying that. I probably won't be saying that because I just find it annoying personally. And even if I watch a bunch of YouTubers videos, like I don't always subscribe to them. I don't know why. It's a thing. Anyways, I'm going to go. I'm rambling. I'm going to go have some food. I'm going to go uh, water my little baby here. And I'm going to go take some photos of it as well. So I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know what kind of video you want to see. A plant video, a book video. I'm probably going to do a video on thrift books because that is my baby. I might do a thrifting haul where I got my books from different thrift stores and talk about that. So yeah, I will see you in whatever video I decide to do next. And um, I don't know. Hopefully you enjoy these. Otherwise, I'll be sitting in front of uh, a camera and lights getting all hot and sweaty for no reason. And that would not be fun. Alright. I will see you guys. Goodbye.